three-fourths of the people you will ever meet are hungry and thirsty for sympathy give it. To them and they will love you. People are not interested in you. They are not interested in me. They are. Interested in themselves. Morning, noon and after dinner. A person's name is to that person. The sweetest and most important sound in any language. People are more likely to accept an order if they had a part in the decision that caused the order to be issued. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people. Then you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Talk to someone about themselves and they'll listen for hours. One reason why birds and horses are not unhappy is because they are not trying to impress other birds and or horses. The only way to influence people is to talk in terms of what the other person wants. Every man is the damn fool for at least five minutes every day with consists and not exceeding that limit. Listening carefully to a person is the greatest compliment we can give him. The expression one wears on one's face is far more important than the clothes one wears on one's back. Keep busy. It's the cheapest kind of medicine there is on this earth and one of the best. A smile costs nothing but gives much. Be more concerned with your character than with your reputation for your character is what you are. While your reputation is merely what others think of you. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. Two men looked out from prison bars one saw the mud. The other saw stars. Our fatigue is often caused not by work, but by worry. Frustration and resentment. Ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen then prepare to accept it. Then proceed to improve on the worst. Feeling sorry for yourself and your present condition is not only a waste of energy, but the worst habit you could possibly have. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there and worrying. It's the worry that gets you not the loss of sleep. Pay less attention to what men say. Just watch. What they do. They don't exist anywhere except in the mind. If you want to change people, why not begin on yourself that is a lot more profitable and a lot less dangerous. Knowledge is in power until it's applied. When fate hands you lemons make lemonade. Criticisms are like homing pigeons. They always return home. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. The person who seeks all their applause from outside has their happiness in another's keeping. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is wanting what you get. The load of tomorrow added to that of yesterday. Carried today makes the strongest falter. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. People sometimes became invalids in order to win sympathy and attention and get a feeling of importance. People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. Happiness doesn't depend on any external conditions. It is governed by our mental attitude. Don't be afraid of enemies who attack you. Be afraid of the friends who flatter you. By all means take thought for tomorrow. Yes. Careful thought and planning and preparation but have no anxiety. There is only one way to get the best of an argument, and that is to avoid it. If you want to keep happiness, you should. Have to share it. Flaming enthusiasm backed up by horse sense and persistence is the quality that most frequently makes for success. Every successful person loves the game. The chance to prove is worth to excel, to win. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Arouse the other person. An eager want. He who can do this has the whole world with him. That is if you were already happy and that will tend to make you happy. People become lonely in old age because in their youth they didn't cultivate relationships and connections that could have sustained them through the ups and downs of life. People don't have many friends because as kids they didn't learn to trust people. It's never too late to start building meaningful relationships and investing in the people around you. An individual who unselfishly tries to serve others has an enormous advantage. Man is not made to understand life, but to live it. Smile today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. The desire for a feeling of importance is one of the chief distinguishing differences between mankind and the animals. Personally, I'm very fond of strawberries and cream. But I have found that for some strange reason, fish prefer worms. So when I went fishing, I didn't think about what I wanted. I thought about what the fish wanted. Are you bored with life? Then throw yourself into some work you believe in it with all your heart. Live for it. Die for it. And you will find happiness that you had thought could never be yours. Let's not allow ourselves to be upset by small things we should despise and forget. Remember life is too short to be little. One of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living we are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon. Instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. 
Today is our most precious possession. It is our only sure possession. I found it wasn't so hard to live only one day at a time. I learned to forget the yesterdays and to not think of the tomorrows. Each morning I said to myself, today is a new life. A man is not hurt so much by what happens, as by his opinion of what happens. Today is our most precious possession. It is our only sure possession. I found it wasn't so hard to live only one day at a time. I learned to forget the yesterdays and to not think of the tomorrows. Each morning I said to myself, today is a new life. A man is not hurt so much by what happens, as by his opinion of what happens. Two men looked out from prison bars, one saw the mud, the other saw stars. Think of your life as an hourglass. You know there are thousands of grains of sand in the top of the hourglass, and they all pass slowly and evenly through the narrow neck in the middle. Nothing you or I could do would make more than one grain of sand pass through this narrow neck without impairing the hourglass. You and I and everyone else are like this hourglass. If we do not take, tasks, one at a time and let them pass, slowly and evenly, then we are bound to break our own, structure. If you have a lemon, make a lemonade. That is what a great educator does. But the fool does the exact opposite. If he finds that life has handed him a lemon, he gives up and says, I'm beaten. It is fate. I haven't got a chance. Then he proceeds to rail against the world and indulge in an orgy of self-pity. But when the wise man is handed a lemon, he says, what lesson can I learn from this misfortune? How can I improve my situation? How can I turn this lemon into a lemonade? One of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon, instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. Why are we such fools, such tragic fools? What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world, and loses his health? The most important thing in life is not to capitalize on your gains. Any fool can do that. The really important thing is to profit from your losses. Let's never try to get even with our enemies, because if we do we will hurt ourselves far more than we hurt them. Let's do as General Eisenhower does, let's never waste a minute thinking about people we don't like. You can sing only what you are. You can paint only what you are. You must be what your experiences, your environment, and your heredity have made you. For better or for worse, you must play your own little instrument in the orchestra of life. Relaxation and recreation The most relaxing recreating forces are a healthy religion, sleep, music, and laughter. Have faith in God, learn to sleep well, love good music, see the funny side of life, and health and happiness will be yours. Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. No matter what happens, always be yourself. The best possible way to prepare for tomorrow is to concentrate with all your intelligence, all your enthusiasm, on doing today's work superbly today. That is the only possible way you can prepare for the future. Our thoughts make us what we are. When we hate our enemies, we are giving them power over us, power over our sleep, our appetites, our blood pressure, our health, and our happiness. Why will doing a good deed every day produce such astounding efforts on the doer? Because trying to please others will cause us to stop thinking of ourselves, the very thing that produces worry and fear and melancholia. How to stop worrying and start living Let's not allow ourselves to be upset by small things we should despise and forget. Remember life is too short to be little. How to stop worrying and start living. Nothing can bring you peace but yourself. How to stop worrying and start living. When I asked him Mr. Henry Ford if he ever worried, he replied, No. I believe God is managing affairs and that he doesn't need any advice from me. With God in charge, I believe that everything will work out for the best in the end. Talk to someone about themselves and they'll listen for hours. People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. Even God doesn't propose to judge a man till his last days, why should you and I? Remember, today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Actions speak louder than words, and a smile says, I like you. You make me happy. I am glad to see you. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. Any fool can criticize, complain, and condemn, and most fools do. But it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. It isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about.